looking out of the window at home, my wife and I spotted a cloud formation that to us at least looked like a hovering dove. You could see the wings, the head, the tail, the body. So I captured that on the footage. And then 20, 30 seconds later, it had gone. And the point that I'm making is not whether it looked like a, a dove or not to you or to other people, because we all see different things sometimes, don't we? When we look at the clouds and the way that they form in the sky. But the point that I am making is that you have to capture the moment because there it was. And then a short time later, it had gone. There are often windows of opportunity in life that we need to take hold of right now because seconds, minutes, days, weeks, months, depending on the situation, they may no longer be those windows of opportunity that they are right now. We've got three water features at home in the garden, all devoted to amphibians and other creatures as well, of course. We have a breeding smooth newt colony and also common frogs as well. And as I went into the garden late evening, I captured one of the frogs leaving the tub, which is just outside the patio door. And he was going off to do some hunting for the evening. It's another beautiful morning. We're in for a scorcher today. I've just cast out. I'm watching and waiting. And in the meantime, drinking tea. And I'll tell you what, let me not pour that <laughs> between my knees. Because if I do get a bite, which is possible because I'm getting liners already from the off. Last thing I want to do is tip tea all over me. <laughs> I think we learn by uh, errors in the past, don't we? And I did that quite recently, actually. Still, little taps there on the, on the rod tip I'm ledgering. And of course, by the nature of the way that tench feed, which is my target today, you do get lots of indications that there are fish in the swim, although they're not necessarily taking the bait. And they do have quite big pectoral fins. So as they fan around, I've talked about this recently in the context of lost fish, but as they fan around in the area, they, they lift up all the, all the stuff that's on the bed of the lake, including your bait. So consequently, you do get a few foul hooked fish from time to time. Although it's not a tinker, at least I'm not a blanker. Just caught that roach, quite nice fish as well. Not surprising because I am fishing with maggots, albeit three on a size 12 hook. Back from church and I took the service and preached and the sermon was about making the most of every opportunity. Something that we all need to take on board in our lives, isn't it?